Masha Allah. What a beautiful voice you have. Thank you very much from um, Foundation School. Now the last performance will be from SIT Bina Ilmi Palembang. It's also a live performance from Ananda Nadira. Ananda Nadira. What a beautiful voice. Ananda. Nenek, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody, my name is Nadira Sapana. I'm the sixth grade student of Bina Milamabang Elementary School. Today, I want to tell you an Indonesian folk tale from South Sumatra entitled Bitter Tongue. Or in Indonesian, we call it Si Pahiti. Have a nice listen. Check it out. The Bitter Tongue. Once upon a time, there lived a mighty young man named Serunting in Semidang, South Sumatra. He was very powerful due to the fact that he was the son of a powerful giant and a princess, Princess Tenggang. Sarunting had a brother-in-law named Arya Tebi. Arya Tebi's sister was Sarunting's wife. Her name was Siti. There was a problem between Arya Tebi and Sarunting. It started when they had a fail and divided into two. They put a single word between their fail that there was no disagreement in one day. After a few days, the body father grew a fungus. There was no special thing for the fungus fronted to surrounding field. But the fungus fronted to area to being filled was gold fungus. Surrounding was jealous about it. Eventually, a violent fight broke out between surrounding and area to being Knowing that Sarunting was mightier than him, Arya Tebing gave up fighting. He persuaded his sister to find out Sarunting with him. Siti told Arya Tebing that Sarunting concealed his soul in the highest touch ground, which remained unchicken even when the wind blew it. The next day, both young men resumed their fight. Having learned the secret, Arya Tebing pierced the touch with his spear. Sarunting fell down and his leg was badly injured. Sarunting knew that his wife had betrayed him, so he left at home. He headed to Mount Siguntang and asked the god of Mahameru for mighty power. The god told him to sit and meditate under a bamboo tree until his body was completely covered by the bamboo leaves. Sarunting did that for two years, succeeded in getting the mighty powers. 
whatever word he spoke will turn into curse immediately, immediately from then on. People call him Tipahitida or the bitter tongue. Woe to him, woe to him who dare to oppose certain things. Everybody fret him, because everyone who oppose certain things was turned into a stone by his curse. So that is the end of the story today. I hope this story has a moral value for us. Thank you for your attention. Kapun ka. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam.